So, thank you very much for your interest in the Shaolin Qigong and internal practices. Before we go into detail about any specific type or style of Qigong, I would just like to give you the most important information to directly start. So, very often people ask me, um, at what time of the day should I practice the Qigong? As a general rule, I would say, the more intense the Qigong practice is, which means the more energy you are using during the practice, the more energy is being developed during the practice, the less you will be able to sleep. So which means if you have very high intensity Qigong training where you are sweating a lot and where you are increasing your body temperature a lot I would not suggest for example to um, practice it in the evening one of these sets is for example the Ba Duan Jin and the Yi Jin Jing those two I would suggest you to practice them in the morning after you wake up because if you practice it the correct way it is going to raise up your energy level very very much Next question is, um, for how long should you practice the Qigong sets? So how many minutes per day should you invest into uh, all the different exercises? You find the free versions of all of this already on YouTube. But if you look at the duration of the videos, most of them are between 10 minutes until maybe 17, 18 minutes. Now, if you only practice 20 minutes per day it's not enough it's not enough to achieve what could be achieved with this type of practice what we ultimately want is that the body starts to transform now transforming means some change needs to happen now within the 24 hour day, if you're only investing 20 minutes into any type of practice, those 20 minutes, they, they are too less in regards to the other 23 hours and 40 minutes. So 23 hours and 40 minutes, your life remains the same. Only 20 minutes have changed. Like this, maybe small changes and small transformations gonna happen with you, your life and your body. But it's not what could be achieved. So therefore, uh, it's in a way really true that all these practices, it's also a way of, it's also a way of life. It's the way how you are thinking, it's the way how you are moving, it's the way how you are training. one hour per day is the minimum 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 if you really want to achieve some results I suggest one hour in the morning one hour in the afternoon one hour in the evening to create your own small schedule and put in the different types of practices now different type of practices means The level of your internal work 
the level of your Qigong, the level of your Neigong, the quality of all of these is going to increase in the moment where your awareness of the body increases. The better you understand your body, the better your feeling becomes for your own body the better the results are going to be that you get out of these Qigong uh, exercises. Now, how to build up the awareness of the body? By standing. By practicing some standing exercises. Uh, during this course, I will share with you some standing practices they are really really simple the feet are just about shoulder wide the knees are very very slightly bent the hip is tucked in the lower back is pushed out the chin you pull towards your chest And the top of your skull feels like it is suspended from above. And just stand. Yeah. There is no need to add any tension to it. First of all, just feel your own body. If you don't know what to feel, yeah, I can give you some examples. Try to feel your spine first. Get a feeling for where your spine is sitting. Now make sure that the spine is exactly centered between the left foot and the right foot. Put the spine into balance in regards to left and right. If you now continue and pay attention to how is the weight distribution between the toe area and the heels, front and back in balance. Afterwards, from the lower part of your body, you are using now the mind. You're using now the mind and the awareness of your body to go step by step from each station. Starting from the feet. You travel with the mind into the feet and ask yourself, is there any type of tension that you are consciously able to resolve? Next station, you're moving up to your ankles. The same procedure. Ask yourself, is there any type of tension that you can feel, that you consciously can release? You travel up to the knees, you travel up to the thighs, you travel up to the hips. You travel up to the lower back. You go into the chest area. You feel the back. You feel the neck. Your shoulders. The elbows. The hands. And correct your posture again. This is one part of why it's called internal because the main work that in the beginning you are investing, the main work that you are doing, on the outside you can't see too many things happening because it's internal, because it's something that you are dealing with, that you are transforming, that you are changing, that you are paying attention to, which happens inside of your body, which happens inside of you.